Hi there, um, just a bit of an update on the uh, tadpoles. I was just down actually being a bit silly and whippersnippering in the rain or weed whacking in the rain and I came down to feed the fish and the yabbies and look who I found floating in the sump tank. Um, which leads me to a bit of a problem we had have. In the um, grow, uh, well actually it's supposed to be a grow bed next to you where we were um, letting some water settle. We discovered the other day that we have another round of tadpoles. Now I thought they were just garden variety everyday green tree frogs we have around here but finding this little fellow in the aquaponics setup leads me to believe that maybe we have different types of frogs. So now we have two grow beds full of tadpoles and a frog species I've never seen here before I'd like to keep around here so I think the aquaponics uh, might be put on hold until we can um, raise all these tadpoles. What do you think Bianca? Yes. Yes. Sort of looking that way. Because if they were just green tree frogs which are the only frogs we've seen around here we've figured we've done our good deed with the other grow bed full but if it's this little fella's progeny in there well I'd like them to survive. So I think the aquaponics is being put on hold for a little while. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. So wondering what to do with this little fella so he doesn't get attacked. Why No, because frogs don't like being in water. The problem with this guy is he's probably tuckered out from trying to get out of the sump tank, sweetie. I just hope he didn't spawn in the sump tank. I suppose the yubbies have got to eat something. Mm. So I think we might just put this guy, the chooks would have a field day with him. Might go put him down in the um, water chestnuts. What do you think? Yeah. Yep. That's if he doesn't spook and jump first. Like that. Yeah. At least down here we'll have some coverage and some water. I'll just put you in there, little fella. There you go. There you go. There you go. Wow. He's just down there if you want to do a close up. Wow. Very pretty little fella, isn't he? I'll just let him go. <laughs> Don't you eat him, please. Yeah, so anyway, the tadpoles. This is our new brood. Very small, but actually look um, a lot smaller than the others we had to begin with. But then again, I suppose they all started off small. Um, we have wrigglers in this bed. So what I've done is these black little bits of pipe, um, they're home to some flame tail gudgeons. It came from the sun tank, so they'll look after any of the little worms and um, wrigglers we get in there, hopefully. So, batch number two of froglets on the way. <laughs> uh, these guys are getting rather big. Um, all the big ones tend to do the bolt as soon as we come. There's some happily feasting on some lettuce over here. So, they're all happy. Oh, there was a big one, but he's gone. There's not really much to say except for they're growing. I think we will have to siphon some water out of here though, just with all this rain. Um, I actually have to take some out of the sump tank at the moment because it looks like it's filling up a bit. So, that was a nice little surprise, a little brown frog. See ya fellas, have a good one.